guys are seventh graders and you're in the probe program, which is the gifted program for middle schoolers in Gwinnett County, right? Centrally. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. centrally. So what is gifted? Like, what's the definition of gifted, in your opinion? We're just spoiled kids who get presents. No. No. Um, <laughs> and, well, some people consider that gifted. But, um, also it's like, um, kids who are, good. who are essentially good and see the world in a different perspective because most gifted kids are smarter than the average kid. Abilities. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, so do you like your pro classes? Like, well, I guess, but sometimes it can be kind of boring because history can be boring. Don't really need to know all about that Story. stuff. Yes. And it's I'm, science. Yeah, exactly. Like the charts. Eh. Yeah. History, nah. I and mean, it's not really my kind of thing because I, it's not very important. Do you feel intellectually challenged in pro? As in what? As in, it's I'm challenging the... you guys. It's making no. you guys, um, no. think, Dictionary. It, you know, motivating you. You Where's feel inspired I? to learn more or in more depth in certain Who's subjects. Intellectually? <laughs> no, it's not. Like, it's challenging It's your just brain not challenging well. enough for me. I think that if I was in pro, if I could choose any grade, any pro, I think I'd choose, like, ninth grade pro. That'd be much so it's easier grade because, regular. I mean, Oh, we'll be learning saying. half of um the first half of ninth grade and eighth grade. So right. yeah, and in the math class, what was like the highest grade of highest level of math in eighth grade is tenth grade math. Oh, so you're yeah. looking up the definition of intellectual? Yes. Did you find it? Can you spell it out? I N T E L C T U A L. It's a bit more do you like spelling? Me, but, but like, it's so, a bit. do you feel uh, appealing to or engaging the intellect? What's intellect mean? The power or faculty of the mind by which one knows or understands, as distinguished from that by which one feels, that by which one wills. So, how much they are willing to know. Having extra work in your probe and you're being gifted, does that motivate you? Uh, no. I just have extra work. I no. The only thing that really kind of motivates me is the subject. Because it's and stuff movies. you know. It's like, it's an insult to my knowledge. Exactly. It's like, t I mean, it's insulting. In math, I, I know most of the stuff we're already learning, and I know how to do it, and I'm usually the one raising their hand when, raising my hand when she, the teacher asks, that's, does anyone know how to do this? Because it's a new, new thing. Not yeah, to, to everybody else. I, I know how to do it. You have two classes? Yeah. Uh, what motivates you? Movies. Books. Um, women. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like um, what makes you sense. want to learn more about something? Movies. Ow. Books. And you? Physics. Knowledge. Um, knowledge motivates you to learn more knowledge. Surprisingly, not fame and money. Okay. Yeah, because no one pays I mean, me I to mean, know. a little bit, but not all the way. No one pays me to uh, learn something new. If it's I a wish. job, if school is a job, why don't we get paid? Why do the teachers get paid? We need to get paid. We're the ones suffering under the wrath of these evil teachers. <laughs> yeah, most of these teachers. Don't know how okay, to the teach. people who are watching this video, so I hope they are good teachers. Like all you people in the class, I hope they're good teachers. If you guys are are becoming teachers, take this into consideration. Make them learn in a good way. Don't it's give not, them homework. Don't, don't make them learn. Make them think. For, you, you think uh, the teachers have a lot to do with uh, like your motivation in school? Uh, no. And wanting to be there and learn? No. No. They no. Don't? So a good teacher wouldn't make a difference? Well, a good teacher would. But well, I don't have those kind would. of teachers. You don't have any good teachers? Well, I have nice teachers. They're nice? Yeah, but but, the, but they're not teaching them me the stuff I want to learn. I so. think that's where they thought it was. So they're not mo motivating you? Exactly. Do you like tests? Um. Yes. <laughs> well, it depends on the difficulty of the test, and it depends on what's on the test. Because if it's on history, I'm just like, well, actually, I know a lot of good... 
and I got a hundred on my pretest history pretest. I was surprised. Me too. <laughs> she was first of that. Yeah, like I was very surprised. Thing. I'm like, I'm sorry, but did you say my name? A hundred. <laughs> I was like, I got a ninety-eight on this. Oh, I but guess you guys, that's so you're like not stressed thing. out by test, are you? Well, depends on it because some stuff I don't really care for. Right. If it's a stupid test that's a pop quiz on something that we've never learned it's going into the grade book, yes, I get stressed out for the next two seconds. What about, like, the end of grade testing that they do every year? Is that stressful? Um, not no. exactly, but only in, like, math and science because those are the subjects I, I truly care about. But language arts and, and history or social studies, um... I can fail and not care, <laughs> because I, but I don't fail because my mom would kill me. She what would, would you just... like to tell a class of uh, future educators? Stop learning and think. Don't learn.